Fred here on the range again, and today we have a very cool, very shiny revolver for you guys today. Let's head over to the table and check it out. Alright guys, this is a very cool gun that we wanted to show you. This is the four and a quarter inch Colt Python. We have had this gun out a lot, and every time I have this gun out, I love it more. And I love this gun a lot. So, I'm just so excited to shoot this gun. All right, well, just look at the shine, though. It is just so pretty. Like, the gun is so cool. And then, let me get this in the sun here. It is so pretty. I can see my reflection. Like, I'm not joking, I'm serious. Okay, but let's get loaded up and get to shooting. All right, guys, we're going to be loaded up with six. Uh, these are some PMC bronze, 132 grain, 38 specials. Now, I did forget to mention that if some of you don't know, the Colt Python is chambered in 357, which all 357 guns will also chamber 38 specials. So that's what we're shooting right now. These are just some FMJs here. And I haven't shot this gun in a while. So this is going to be fun. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do double action first. Cool. I'm going to do three double action, three single action. Okay. Okay. And the last one, I'm going to go one handed. Sounds good. How about that? Okay, cool. Cool. Ready? Ready. You can never go wrong with 38 Special. This is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love 38 Special. Like, that is one of my top favorite rounds. All right, one-handed. Ready? Ready. Now, I don't expect to hit because this is one-handed with 38 special, but I'm still doing it. All right? <laughs> Ready? Ready. I always put my arm back here. I don't know why. That's a hit. That's a pretty good hit, too. Cool. I need another. I was going to say mag. I need another mag. No. Cylinder. I need another cylinder because this is fun. Real quick, I do want to come in and thank our hearing protection sponsor, Walker's Earmuffs. We've been using Walker's for a very long time, way longer than I've had my YouTube channel. And those reasons are, they're comfortable, they're affordable, they're very nice. I love them. They sound great and, I mean, like I said, I love them. And my uh, Potato and Pikachu love them, too. So, yes. But once again, thank you so much to Walker's Earmuffs for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to shooting. Tactical unload. Four. I was meant to keep that. Whoops. I'll pick it up. <laughs> uh, I did also forget to mention that I'm holding my ammo right here with this brand new Oki Holsters ammo holder. This thing's nice. You just put it right next to your revolver holster and you got an extra reload right there. Now, my gun wasn't already loaded as you could see, but... Still. I just feel so tactical pulling it off of a bandolier. Just like, whoop, pew. <laughs> Imagine you just threw a round in and it went straight in. Wow. That'd be so cool. I'm going to do all one-handed. Okay. This time. Ready? Ready. I'm going to try double action. Wow, and a hit. That was a good hit. Yeah, okay. centered up. Yeah, I don't really like double action with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, two misses, but that's still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, for our next target, we have five. Wait, no. Okay, three. Dr. Thunder, and one. Giant Sands, and one. Mountain Lightning Flash. Okay, let's blast these. Tactical Reload. Going for time here. No, I'm not, because I'm being clumsy now. If I try to reload fast, I end up being very clumsy. <laughs> and dropping things. Well, I drop things normally, even if I'm not going for time. 
But now we are stepping up the power a lot for these two liters. We are we are loaded up with some Federal 158 grain 357 mag. All right, let's blast these. And I just want to mention how smooth this gun is. Like a uh, uh, single action, the trigger it is so nice, and even with double action, it is just so smooth. Okay, I mean. The gun's smooth, it's shiny. Okay, and it's fingerprinty now. <laughs> okay, let's blast these, ready? Ready. That was good. Nice. That was good. <laughs> I'm going double action. Ready? Ready. Way more power than M38s. Definitely. And way more thump than oh, the 38. Oh, sure. It's way louder. Sound, recoil, everything. This was fun. Okay. Ready? Ready. Whoa. He's dead. Shooting the guy on the ground. All right. I was accounting for one miss, so <laughs> that's why I put six in. Nice. Well, the the sign got a little bit of a wash, yeah, but it's it now gonna be very sticky. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. That was cool. Nice. I shot exactly six. Yeah, you did. And that's how many was loaded up. That's cool. Okay, next target. Why are you stuck? I was trying to be all dramatic, like, next target. And it was unloaded, but it got stuck. All right, guys, I just want to give a big, honest, and sincere thank you to Savior Equipment. They sent over this awesome wall storage solution here, and it turned out so cool. We've been, we've spent years dealing with unorganized gun storage and this has just been truly life changing for us being able to put all of our guns up in a place and display them all when people come over, they can see how cool they all are. They literally used to just be stacked up in a corner. So big thanks once again to Save Your Equipment for making this gun wall happen. All right, guys, for our next target, we are going to try and stop a 357. We have six V8 splat set up down here and one Shasta Tonic Water. <laughs> I'm so fancy, I have Tonic Water. All right, guys, this next target is brought to you by our patrons over at Patreon. YouTube has been starting to be a little bit of a bully recently. They've been demonetizing us, shadow banning us, and everything. And I've just had enough of it. So, well, we have had enough of it. So we are moving more of our attention over to Patreon. You will see a lot more videos that are never going to be over here on YouTube over there. All right, let's blast these. Ready? Ready. This, I'm probably going to get splashed by the V8 splash. Yeah. And I'm going to get all sticky from it. Because this stuff is sticky. Uh-huh. But I don't care. Okay, ready? Ready. I didn't get splashed. Wow. I am very surprised about that. Okay. Let me put this in my Oki holster right here. Wow, that's heavy. That's the heaviest gun I've had on my hip. You know, I need an M44 holster. Okay, so here looks like the first one. And... Looks like we stopped it. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in that. Oh, it's in this one. It's in the sixth one. Ah! Whoa. Skipping, skipping all those for a second. It's bleeding out. Good we had six. Yeah. I was thinking the fourth. Yeah, May the fourth. That did not expand. Whoa, it didn't. For some reason. But that is a very nice bullet right there. Look at that. That's nice. I don't think I've ever found a bullet that nice. Yeah, it's perfect. It's shiny, too. We could load that and shoot it again. Eh. I wouldn't do it, because this is cool, but... <laughs> I'm just going to put this in my pocket. My pocket!
buckets are covered up by that loader. Okay, next target. I just remembered that we had this Shasta up. It did not get hit. I am super sorry if there's people out there that know how to say this and I'm saying it wrong. I don't know how to say it though. All right, this Shasta, I need redemption on this Shasta, so we're gonna blast it. And I'm gonna do something funny with its innards at the end, okay? The water inside of it <laughs> at the end. I'm whack. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit of molasses. I wanted to load all six up, but I only need one. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go single action, ready? Ready. Yep, I'm wet. I mean, not as bad as I thought I was gonna get. I thought it was just gonna completely spray me, but this is pretty good. I've never shot tonic water before. Hold on, I can actually, I don't need your help. There is actually still a little bit of water in here. And uh, this is the funny thing. I'm gonna wash my hands because they're sticky. <laughs> okay, well here's the damage. Here is entrance and exit right there. It didn't do as much as I wanted it to, but I still did a lot. Like I said, I've never shot fizzy water before and that was pretty good. All right, for our next target, you can see that I am very calm because this is some rice dream. Rice milk. And now I'm gonna smack it because we got a firebird right here and we're just gonna go smack. There. The, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. It's stuck right there, okay. Cool, let's blast this. I put it down here because I knew I know it's probably gonna go wee but So, let's blast this. All right, we got one 3 special loaded up in here. Let's blast this guy. This is Rice Dream. I don't know why I'm saying it so majestically like that. I'm going to blow this guy up, so I don't know why I'm saying it so majestically. So let's blast him. Ready? Ready. Oh. I shot this much below it. Just a hair. I need to get another round. It, oh. must, it must hit different with 38 specials. It must. I was I was saying I must I should get another round, but the milk's dead. Yeah, it's already drained. We have one more target though that would be great with the Firebird. All right, let's so do let it. me go grab it. Yeah. For our grand finale target, well, I do want to do bowling after this, but for our target, we have some Annie's Deluxe Rich and Creamy Mac and Cheese. It's shells and aged cheddar. It's a grandma. I'm kidding, okay. Let's put the Firebird right there, and let's blast him. All right, we got two 38 specials. I almost said aged 38 specials <laughs> for, a, for a second, but then I didn't, because they're not old. We just got this box. All right, ready? Ready. Just a little bit below it. Yep. All right, ready? Ready. I was so close. I was this close. Yeah, it looks like those 38s hit low. Yeah. Versus the 357s. Little bit, but, so I only, wait, did I hit the cheese packet? No! I never shoot, I never eat this kind of cheese. The ones with the already milked cheese. No, we're good. Oh, it flipped it around. <laughs> okay. He's gonna do a headstand. Let me get one more round and blast him. All right, we got one more 38 special loaded up and I'm gonna try and aim a little bit higher cause it seems it's hitting lower with the 38 special. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> it was a little flare, it was just like pew. That was not what I was expecting, but at least it went off. Yeah. So we got a little we got a hole perfectly through it. Yeah, that was a dead center shot. Yeah. I want to find the cheese packet. And then, oh, I skimmed it. I skimmed it. Hold on. I want to open this up, get the cheese packet out, and then blow it up with the 357. Okay. This is all wet from the milk. Yuck. <laughs> I got the nacho cheese on me. I definitely hit it. With smoke coming out of it. Yeah, I'm not touching this. Never mind. Yeah. That's gross. The dog can eat the 
uh, ravioli or whatever's in there. <laughs> All right, well, you guys deserve a way bigger boom than that. So we have another Firebird set up down there and wheel it up with a two and three quarter inch, just a federal bird shot out of the LTT Beretta 1301. Now, I am definitely gonna need my muffs on for this. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm just like, yep, that worked. That's just my thing. Okay, let me go set this in here. I need to actually pull this out of here, but I'll do that later. Okay, investigation. Investigate what, you may ask? I don't know, because there's nothing here. The bottom of the box stayed put. You know, that's actually really weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I just stayed there. I mean, I just saw pieces fly everywhere. I don't even know where to go look. Yeah. I mean, there's a piece here, there's a piece over in that brush, there's a piece probably over the berm. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Ah. Wolf spider. <laughs> <laughs> I know they don't bite, but I'm scared of them. <laughs> okay. Nice spider. Is that the cheese pack? Part of it. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. That's disgusting. I just touched moldy cheese. It's not moldy. I'm just, I'm just being dramatic. Okay, bowling. Okay. All right, guys, as you can see back here, we are set up for some bowling, but first we need to take care of an infestation, some banana viper infestation. Now, these ones are some old, old ones because you can see they're black, but uh, we are going to be using some 38 special bird shot for these. Now, usually you would find like number 16 shot or eight shot, but these ones, they're four shot and these are massive. So this is gonna be cool. Now we are going to do 38 special for the pythons and then 357 for the bowling. All right. All right, ready? Ready? Ready. They went ka-splat, <laughs> and I got some guts on my legs. <laughs> that was gross. You could just see the mush. These were at least a month old banana vipers. And not that doesn't mean babies. That means they're old bananas. <laughs> okay, let's do the bowling now. All right, we got two shots loaded up for this bowling. I'm saying uh, this bowling, the bowling, the only bowling in the world. I'm kidding. Okay. And just let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have ever gone bowling because I love bowling with guns and normal. So, all right. <coughs> Ready? Ready. Jeez, Barry. Oh. I was like, jeez, Barry. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Gee, right? Spare. We had a lot of fun shooting all these targets. My two favorite targets were the macaroni with the 12 gauge and also the banana pythons. Just splat. And also, I like catching that bullet too because I always love collecting bullets. It's right, right here. Look at this. It's so cool. I love how it's just like, it comes in and then smush. It's so cool. Okay, well, I hope you guys had a lot for watching this video, just like we had a lot for making it. So, thanks for watching, I'm sorry, we'll see you next time.